Welcome to DIY Solar and Wind Adventures. Today, we're at Gilmore's Car Museum, the largest car museum in North America. This here is a 1923 Star open delivery pickup. If you want to make your own electricity, click on the links down below. So, this car, Star Cars, Durant Motors, Elizabeth, New Jersey. 15.5 horsepower, $348. I can go buy a couple of those today. <laughs> Look at the side panels. Hold on a little bit. <laughs> Not much there. Bare bones. Oh, wide open. In the winter time, this would be freezing. This is a great deal of car for the money. Fresh from the final leave taking of General Motors in 1920. Bring the camera up a little bit. William C. Durant launched his next empire and introduced a new medium price car named for himself, immediately followed by plans for a low priced automobile to complete head on with Henry Ford's Model T. This was the star, introduced by Durant Motors, Incorporated, in the early spring 1922, to move into quality production quickly. Durant outbid Walker P. Chrysler for the huge factory in Elizabeth, New Jersey, which the Willys Corporation sent to the auction block, while the Elizabeth factory remained its principal home. Durant's star cars and trucks were also manufactured in his Long Island City plant and other Durant factories in Lansing, Michigan, Oakland, California, and Toronto, Ontario. In 1923, the less than one year after the initial star crossed the assembly line, the 100th star was produced. The star was the first major American car to offer station wagon styling for the company for the factory in addition to car and open delivery pickup truck models. And that makes it amazing. All these trucks are amazing. Have a nice sunny day.